Hello guys, it's Shrimp Time here and we got another shrimp video on the channel. First of all, as usual, I want to say hello and thank you to all new subscribers. If you subscribe to this channel recently, please say hello in the comment. I will be very happy to respond. But coming to uh, going to our main topic, we are going to talk about pH in Caridina shrimp tanks and we are going to talk about different types of soil uh, and the, the the way they will lower the pH in your tank. So guys, I have decided to make a little test about uh, considering uh, the pH in my different shrimp, times, uh, shrimp tanks, uh, considering the types of filtration I use, the amount of soil that I use, uh, the age of the tank and the type of soil that I use. I want to uh, make uh, a lot of those tests, but I will show you some, some type of results and we'll check if the available soils on the market have the, uh, have what it, it's needed for for keeping your Caridina shrimps. At the start, I use a pH meter with a, with separate uh, probe. Uh, the probe was calibrated uh, just before the tests uh, using uh, four pH buffer and seven pH buffer. And I calibrated it exactly so it shows four and seven. So guys, uh, I've used uh, this test uh, for a while, the, this device, and I must say it's quite good, but it isn't the high-end uh, device. So there might be a little, a little uh, measurement errors, but in general, I think that it shows correctly uh, the pH levels because I've checked twice all the tests were made at the same stage of the day, just before the lights go on. So guys, we will start with theory. In my opinion, pH have very big influence on keeping Caridina shrimps, especially those high-end shrimps with Taiwangens like uh, galaxies, like boas, uh, like PRLs, uh, fences, etc., etc. Especially if you are keeping fences with uh, King Kong uh, genetics, those well colorated fences. So, guys, in my opinion, people underestimate the value on on pH. If we read a lot of articles uh, on net online, we'll see that the good. Uh, level of pH is something like from 6 to 7 or s about 6.5, etc, etc. In my opinion, that's not true. Uh, considering all of my experience, all of years that I've bred shrimps in my tanks, I think that the best levels are something uh, between 5.5 to 6. Uh, with those levels, I've got the best breeding, the best survival rate among my shrimps. Uh, and generally, my shrimps were most active. With higher pH levels, I uh, got lower results in shrimp keeping. So considering that level, you can ask yourself a question. What is the best soil? for Caridina shrimps. And this is also a topic of our, our today's video. In my opinion, considering the way that uh, Asian breeders keep their shrimps, the best soil is Ada Amazonia one, which isn't that available right now. Some of the breeders stocked a lot of this soil just to keep those shrimps. Uh, in future videos, I will test the new versions of ADA, but right now I've got ADA Amazonia Lite still available and I use it in my tanks. And this is the answer why this type of soil is so good. First of all, I will uh, read you the results uh, of my measurements. I will also write them uh, in the description of the video. 
So the first tank that I measured was SL Aqua uh, tank with a sponge filter, the uh, U-Jet and with hang-on filter. In that tank I've used uh, some ceramics for filtration and the sponge for fi filtration. It got about two to three centimeters layer of soil and this tank runs for about nine months. Uh, and the result was 5.75. So very nice, very good result uh, for, for this old tank. Next tank, it can be quite popular among uh, American people because I've measured the Brightwell soil and uh, this tank as well uh, got something like two to three centimeters layer of the soil and uses only UJET filtration and uh, I've got 5.82 pH so quite 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 good result another tank uh, with different type of filtration uh, is run on Benibachi Fulvik uh, this is a soil that in my opinion it's quite good for beginners because it isn't rich in nutrients so it is easier to start a tank it is easier to maintain a tank and this tank is about eight months old old sorry and uses only UGF filter the under gravel filtration placed in filtration panel with some filtration medias uh, some ceramics and with soil and this tank got something like 5.88 uh, pH so still for me everything under 6 is quite good uh, I won't consider keeping a tank when I will get above 6. If pH will go above 6, in my opinion, the tank is ready for restart. Another tank, it is a new tank that ran for about 2 weeks. It's a mix of Adamazonia Light and SL Aqua with canister filtration with very thin layer of soil, I would say uh, 1 cm at most for 100, 100 liter of tank so this is a very small amount of soil with a very big amount of water column and we got the results on 5.62 level so very good very nice very beautiful results and what is quite important this tank don't have uh, under gravel filtration but we'll need to check how long this tank will manage to keep that pH because it's freshly started tank going to next tank we got Adamazonia light uh, 18 month old uh, tank using under gravel filtration only uh, so very old tank which is still breeding shrimps and this is because it's got 5.88 pH so very very nice pH after uh, 18 months I think that I will make a little experiment considering lowering this pH a bit using some methods if you would like to hear about that methods that I use to lower the pH and see the experiment I I would be very happy to show them to you another tank Benibachi Fulvik as well run on the hang on filter uh, a very thick uh, layer of soil about five six centimeters and uh, it's running for about four four months and this is this is very cons concerning results because it's got a uh, 5.95 pH so it's quite high high pH considering the amount of soil we use and this will make some conclusions at the end of this video uh, how we should make the filtration in our tank the last tank Ada Amazonia 1 which I managed to buy run for about one year and it's got 
0.55 pH and it use only uh, it's you it use it is using under gravel filtration in a panel with soil and it is using a uh, jet filter so as you can see this is and this tank right now is one of the best breeding tanks uh, in my shrimp facility so this is the answer in my opinion this is why uh, so many uh, Asian breeders love Ada Amazonia. The answer is because this soil keeps the pH so low. Okay, it needs longer time for cycling the tank because the pH is even lower. But why the pH can be your enemy? Uh, the main uh, answer to that is because of the nitrification process. Uh, lower the pH is the harder uh, the nitrifying bacteria is good for the for establishing nitrification process because the acidic water will slow down all the chemical reactions that are used to make that process. So considering all the results that I show, I must say that in my opinion, uh, observing the results in my breeding facility, uh, there is a very, very uh, hard road to achieve optimal pH because optimal, the best pH that I can get on my uh, breeding tanks, it's something bef between 5.4 to 5.6. It's the best. Okay, 5.5 .5 to 6 is it's nice, it's good, but the best would to, would be to maintain 5.4 to 5, 5.6. Uh, so all of the soils that I checked, except of the mix of Ada Amazonia Light with uh, SL Aqua and Ada Amazonia Light itself, don't give me the pH that I want. So in future videos, I will try to to make my own method to lower the pH. And I will also try the new Adamazonia soils because they might be the answer how to lower your pH in the tank and how to achieve the best results in keeping shrimps. Another thing to consider is the type of filtration because as you can see, younger tank without uh, under gravel filtration keeps the pH on the higher level than older tank with uh, under gravel filtration. The under gravel filtration, in my opinion, won't help you so much with, uh, with keeping the nitrification in your tank, uh, but it will help you a lot in maintaining those lower uh, pH levels. I think that I'm able to make a method to lower the pH in those tanks a bit lower uh, with, with using some materials. So I will try to do that because in my opinion, if I will lower even about one of tenth of pH, uh, like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, then I will see a very, very big difference in breeding results in the tank because you need to remember 5.5 is a thing that we are aiming for. And according to, to, to things that I see online, a lot of those high-end shrimp breeders will keep all of their shrimps on those low pH. And straight ahead after the pH of their tank will go above 6, they will start to consider a quick reset. It's quite important that in Asia you, they use very thin layer of soil just to enable a very quick reset after 3 or 6 months uh, of keeping their shrimps. Uh, they will take out the water, take out the soil, put the new water, leave the the ujets in the tank and they will put the shrimps. They won't uh, age or cycle their tank. So guys, I think that this is all about uh, the pH in the tank. Uh, 
uh, I will try to make another video about trying to lower those results that we got uh, on today's video. I hope that you find this video useful and as, uh, as always leave a thumb up, make a little comment if you have different experience or the same experience and if you are new to channel then subscribe. If you are already a subscriber hit that uh, bell uh, button and if you do did that all thank you so much because you are helping me to develop my hobby and to share my knowledge. Thank you till the next video. See you.